What's up guys, Justin here from the SketchUp Essentials. So I just wanted to give you another 3D base camp update. I'm coming to you, I guess, poolside next to the giant SketchUp block. So um, I just wanted to give you an update of kind of the stuff that I uh, went and saw yesterday, kind of what's been going on, that sort of thing. So yesterday started off and we had the keynote from Grant Imahara from Mythbusters. Or Mr. Grant Imahara. <laughs> It was a really good keynote. Uh, it was kind of interesting. I don't know if they actually use SketchUp or not on the show, but he was really good at demonstrating some of the benefits of modeling things in 3D. So I thought it was a really valuable um, presentation. So it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of people in that room. I think there's like 1,200 people at the base at base camp right now. So, and then from there, I went to a presentation, um, a really good presentation by Dave Cooperstein. He's an architect with, uh, I think, PGA V. Um, destinations or resort company and he talked about um, lateral thinking in SketchUp or thinking about difficult things and how to model them within SketchUp and then he modeled some pretty crazy things like a resort piece that uh, looked like a turtle and uh, he used a whole lot of extensions so a really good presentation I'll try to link to more information about him um, in the notes down below so sorry for some reason I'm sitting in the Sun I don't know why I made that decision <laughs> So in the afternoon, I went to uh, the first half of a presentation from a Chaos Group on V-Ray. Still very complex, um, some of the settings and stuff like that. And then I had to duck out of the back of that one. And I went over to a presentation by Eric Schimmelfendig. And Eric, I hope I got your name right. He runs SketchThis.net. So if you've ever seen um, images of like the uh, images of the SketchUp arcade game or the SketchUp foosball table that they built, he's the guy that built those. So he does a lot of building and making type stuff. He's a great resource to reach out to if you have any questions on making using SketchUp. So like CNC routing or anything like that. So that's SketchThis.net. And then uh, finally, I tried to go to an Unreal Engine presentation, and it was standing room only. It was packed, and it was kind of an intro level thing. So I decided I didn't want to stand in the back of the room for an hour. Um, there was very little room in that space, so I decided to go ahead and skip that one. I think there's another Unreal Engine presentation tomorrow that I'm going to try to make that I'm going to get to a little bit earlier. And so what I did instead is I went and I hung out in the... Uh, exhibition space and talked to some guys from Inkscape and uh, some of the other extension guys as well. So that was a lot of fun and then we had the SketchUp party last night and SketchUp party was crazy. They had this whole place with neon lights. And uh, they did what's called a SketchUp shootout, which is basically like charades with SketchUp. So they give you something to draw, and then the crowd tries to guess what you're drawing, and whoever gets guessed first wins. Who's gonna draw a circle? Who's gonna draw a rectangle? Oh, two rectangles. Right. Remember to yell out as soon as you see what they're drawing. Tight? Tight. So that's a great exercise for like your office if you have a bunch of people that you need to uh, work on the way that they use SketchUp. So that was a ton of fun. Matt Donnelly from Master SketchUp actually called me out and uh, we got very similar shapes. He got a basketball and I got a baseball and I won. So, uh, um, and probably because they made him use a Mac and I got to use a PC. Um, but then after, after the shootout, it was just live music. And just a lot of fun. It was a really cool event. Really enjoyed it. I'll try to put some pictures up of the event in this video. So today I give my last presentation. I'm a little bit nervous because uh, I want to see how many present or uh, how many extensions we can talk about in an hour. So we're going to see how many of those we can get through. I'm going to try to get that recorded for you guys. I'll try to record the audio and the screen so that I can put that out there. So having a lot of fun out here. It is really hot because I decided to sit in the sun, which is exactly what I've said you shouldn't do out here. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.